In this video, I'm gonna show you the fastest way to automatically sync your videos to your music inside of Premiere Pro. Stick around. Tyler here from Video Editing with Tyler White, and if you wanna learn how to edit video like a pro, start out by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. Here inside Premiere Pro, I already have my music imported, so the first thing I'm gonna do is click and drag that music down into the timeline. And then what I'm gonna do is go up here to the Editing tab, and I'm gonna make this nice and big. And then I'm just going to expand this so that I can see the audio waveform, make this a little bit bigger. And now I'm gonna go ahead and listen to the music play back really quick. All right, so now that I'm familiar with how the music sounds, I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna click anywhere within the timeline, not on the music, but anywhere in this open area here. And I'm going to press M on the keyboard every time I hear the beat drop like this. Now what I'm gonna do is go in and fix any of the markers that may not be lined up correctly. Then once I fix all my markers, I'm then gonna go back up here to the assembly tab and I wanna make sure that I have the icon view selected down here. Then I'm gonna go over here where this little folder icon is and select new bin. And I'm gonna put all my B-roll footage inside of this bin here. So I'm gonna go and find it inside of my folder. I'm gonna select all of it and I'm gonna bring it inside of Premiere Pro and drop it inside of that bin. Once I've done that, I'm then gonna click on the bin. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start adjusting where these clips are gonna fall at on the timeline in the correct order, starting with clip number one and this being clip number 10. Once I have my videos in order, I'm then gonna click on each individual one and I'm gonna create an end point. And that end point is gonna be where the clip starts as it falls in the timeline. It's gonna start at a certain point within this video clip. And I'm just going to select that by going to the point to where I want to establish that endpoint, and just press I on the keyboard. And I'm gonna do this for every single clip. The next thing I wanna do is take my playhead to the very beginning of the timeline. And then I'm gonna click on the very first clip over here, hold down shift and click on the very last clip in this group. And then I'm gonna go up here to where it says clip and go down to automate to sequence. Once this table comes up here, we're gonna make these changes. So under ordering, you have two different options, sort order as well as selection order. We're gonna be using sort order because we sorted these clips here inside of this bin in the correct order that we wanted it. If we wanted the clips to be random on the timeline, we could click selection order. Then under placement, just select at unnumbered markers. Method should be overwrite edit. And the last thing I want you to select under ignore options is ignore audio and then press okay. Then you're just gonna make this a little bit bigger and then go ahead and play it back. Continue to perfect your skills by checking out this video. Edit like a pro by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. I'll see you in the next video.